Have you ever wondered what menopause really is, and why it happens? Well, let's dive into it. Menopause is a natural biological process that marks the end of a woman's menstrual cycles, typically after a year of no periods. It's often associated with the aging process, with physiological menopause usually kicking in around the age of 51. However, it's not a one-size-fits-all phenomenon. There's also premature ovarian failure, which can occur before the age of 40 due to factors like autoimmune disorders, infections, or specific genetic conditions like Turner's syndrome. And then, there's iatrogenic menopause, which may be induced by medical interventions, such as surgery, radiation, or chemotherapy. Although menopause can bring about a range of physical and emotional changes, it's important to remember that it's not a disease, but rather a transition into a new phase of life. Understanding menopause is the first step towards managing it effectively. So how does a woman know if she's going through menopause? Well, the symptoms can be as diverse as women themselves, but let's break down some of the most common ones. First up, we have the hallmark of menopause, hot flashes. Imagine a sudden rush of heat that engulfs your body, often followed by a cold chill. This can happen at any time, day or night, and can be accompanied by a racing heart, sweating and even occasional nausea. Another symptom is sleep disturbances. This might mean having trouble falling asleep or staying asleep. Some women also experience night sweats, which are hot flashes that happen during sleep, leading to drenching sweats that can disrupt a good night's rest. Next, let's talk about changes in mood. Many women experience mood swings, irritability, and even feelings of sadness. It's important to remember that these changes are not a sign of weakness, but rather a natural part of this transition. And then we have physical changes. Many women experience a decrease in breast size, thinning of the skin, and loss of elasticity in the tissues around the vagina. This can lead to discomfort during sexual intercourse, a condition known as dyspareunia. The urinary system can also be affected. Some women may experience increased urinary frequency, urgency, and even incontinence. Let's not forget about the skeletal system, osteoporosis, which is a condition that causes bones to become weak and brittle, is a common concern. Joint and muscle pain, as well as back pain, can also occur. Lastly, some women may notice a decrease in their libido or sexual desire. This can be due to physical changes, emotional changes, or both. Of course, these symptoms can be different for every woman. Some may experience only a few, while others may experience many. The intensity of these symptoms can also vary, ranging from mild to severe. Recognizing these symptoms can help in seeking timely medical advice. Remember, menopause is a natural part of life, not a medical illness. Understanding what's happening can make this transition smoother and more manageable. Did you know that menopause can also increase the risk of certain health issues? Indeed, osteoporosis is the single most important health hazard associated with menopause. This condition, which leads to thinning and weakening of the bones, can result in fractures and significantly impact quality of life. Cardiovascular disease is another major concern. It's the leading cause of death post-menopause, underscoring the importance of maintaining heart health during this phase of life. We also need to consider the slightly increased risk of breast cancer associated with hormone replacement therapy that includes both estrogen and progesterone. This doesn't mean that all hormone therapy is risky, but it does highlight the need for regular health checkups and informed discussions with healthcare providers. Menopause is a natural phase of life, but it's not without its challenges. Being aware of these risks can pave the way for preventive measures. Knowledge is power, and understanding these risks can help you take control of your health during menopause and beyond. How can a woman be sure she's going through menopause? This is a question that many women ponder as they approach midlife. Well, a proper diagnosis usually comes from a healthcare professional who will make an assessment based on a woman's symptoms and possibly some medical investigations. One of the key indicators of menopause is a change in menstrual cycles. A woman is considered to be in menopause if she hasn't had a period for one full year. However, hormonal levels also play a significant role in this diagnosis. 
For instance, increased levels of follicle-stimulating hormone, or FSH, and luteinizing hormone, or LH, can signal the onset of menopause. At the same time, decreased levels of estradiol, a form of estrogen, can also indicate menopause. It's important to remember that these hormonal levels can fluctuate, and a single test may not always provide a definitive answer. Therefore, consistent monitoring and consultation with a healthcare professional are crucial for a proper diagnosis. A proper diagnosis is key to managing menopause effectively. So, what can be done to manage menopause symptoms, I hear you ask? Well, there are a variety of treatment options available, all aimed at individual symptom management. Each woman's experience with menopause is different, and so too should be her treatment plan. The most common approach to managing menopause symptoms is hormone replacement therapy, or HRT for short. This involves replacing the hormones that your body no longer produces after menopause, helping to alleviate symptoms such as hot flushes, night sweats, and mood disturbances. For those experiencing vasomotor instability, which includes symptoms like hot flashes and night sweats, other options can include SSRIs, venlafaxine, gabapentine, propranolol, clonidine, and even acupuncture. Vaginal atrophy, which can cause discomfort and urinary issues, can be treated with local estrogen in the form of creams, vaginal suppositories, or rings. Lubricants can also be used to ease symptoms of dryness. When it comes to urogenital health, lifestyle changes such as weight loss and bladder retraining can make a significant difference. Local estrogen replacement and surgery are also options to consider. Osteoporosis, a condition that weakens bones and makes them more prone to fractures, is another concern during menopause. To manage this, a combination of calcium and vitamin D supplements, weight-bearing exercise, quitting smoking, and medications like bisphosphonates and selective estrogen receptor modifiers, also known as SERMs, can be used. For those grappling with decreased libido, options include vaginal lubrication, counseling, and androgen replacement. Cardiovascular disease risk can be managed by addressing cardiovascular risk factors, and mood and memory disturbances can be treated with antidepressants and HRT. It's worth noting that there are also alternative choices available, like black cohosh and phytoestrogens. However, these are not evidence-based, and their safety is not yet established. Remember, every woman's experience with menopause is unique, and so should be her treatment plan. Whether it's HRT, lifestyle changes, or alternative treatments, the most important thing is to find what works best for you and your body. Before we wrap up, we have a quick request. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It lets us know that we're providing valuable content and it helps other people find our videos. And if you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button now. Not only will you be joining a community of people who are passionate about understanding health and wellness, but you'll also be the first to know when we release more informative videos like this one. We're always working on bringing you more engaging, in-depth, and high-quality content to help you navigate the complexities of health topics. So stay tuned for more. Thank you so much for watching and for your support. It means the world to us.